Good day and welcome back to the Herbert Denard Show. We have with us Dr. Roman Dalaman, the new superintendent. I, I can't say new because he's been here about a year now. Of the academy. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Tell me, uh, how are you enjoying your, enjoying your stay here in the academy? Well, uh, you know, I have been uh, working very hard from the first day I arrived mm -hmm. to um, helping uh, our community to create a school system where all of our students can be successful. What, right now, a lot of people are talking all over Bill County about the Make a Miracle. Uh, could you tell us about it? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the Make a Miracle is the roadmap that we're going to use for the next 10 to 15 years. Now, it's not written in stone. It's, it's, it's a living plan. In fact, in the Make a Miracle itself, one of the action steps says that we will revisit our strategies, we will make modifications, we will improve the plan uh, as we move on. And so it's a living plan, but it's a roadmap that we believe will help us to be where we need to be so our students can be successful in a 21st century multi-ethnic global economy. What we want is a system where we can ensure that all of our students are proficient in literacy and numeracy by the end of third grade. We want a system where we can graduate every single ninth grader. We want a system where we can ensure that our students are college ready and also develop the strength of character that they need in order to be successful in their world. What uh, a lot of people are talking about the Chinese language thing. Why is it necessary to, to uh, teach people Chinese rather than Spanish, uh, where we have a large influx of Spanish people from all over the country mm -hmm. uh, here from the border problems of coming into America and it's, it's so prevalent here, Spanish, and that concern is why teach Chinese? There are two reasons. Uh, the first reason uh, has to do with what the Chinese language actually does to a child's brain development. Mm -hmm. uh, neurologically, there's research that shows that uh, the Chinese language, because it is so complex and it's a level four language, it really helps a child. Level four brain. language? Level four, a very complex language. Let me um, see if I understand this. <laughs> I've never heard of a level four language. Yeah. Uh, what languages are broken down depending on how difficult they are or how. How, how, what is level four? Well, level four, uh, it, it, that's in terms of how complex, okay, complex. the language is. Uh, with, with everything that comes with it, I mean, if you can um, picture uh, knowing all the different symbols, 200 plus symbols, that you have to uh, memorize uh, in, order, in order to uh, combine words, and, uh -huh. and, and I mean, it's a very complex language. So that, that, that's one aspect. The second aspect is purely economics. Uh, we are living in a change in a, in a changing world. Uh, the world is, is getting more complex and uh, Tom Friedman's book, The World is Flat. So the economy is shifting. Hall County, which is uh, right here in, in, in Georgia, with probably uh, probably the largest percentage of Hispanic students in the state are teaching their kids, their students, Mandarin Chinese. Because they understand what that means for the future of their students. Um, in four years, China will have the largest economy in the world. So by preparing our students to speak uh, Mandarin Chinese means that we are opening the door so they can be able to compete globally Mm -hmm. Not just in the state of Georgia, not just in the United States. We're talking about preparing our students so they can compete globally. Youngsters we have in elementary school today, by the year 2050, they'll be uh, the adults uh, leading the world. Well, by 2050, there'll be 1.5 billion middle class, uh, people who, who will be in the middle class group. One billion of the 1.5 billion will be in China. So what I am proposing is a plan that will help our students to be successful in their world. Now in my world, your world, Spanish was the language. Mm -hmm. But that world has passed. 
we need to project toward the future. Okay. Do you have kind of students are behind uh, most of the state, I think, for us academically, according to the test scores mm -hmm. here in Bibb County. Uh, what can we do to improve academically for Bibb County? Is that addressed in the Make a Miracle? Absolutely. That's what the, uh, that's what the Make a Miracle is all about. Okay. Uh, you are absolutely right. We, uh, when we look at our ninth grade students back four years ago, only 44.6% of them graduated. We couldn't even graduate 50% of our students. And so uh, when, 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 we, when we look at uh, where the, the, the Bibb County is positioned, uh, as far as it relates to high school completion, we rank uh, 155th out of 164 counties. Can I say that again? 155th out of 164 counties. So we are at the bottom of the state. When we look at students SAT scores and, and, and high school completion, the state ranks 47th out of 50 state, 50 states.